Brought to you by Virgin Media. A new era of entertainment awaits on Ireland's fastest broadband network. Daniel Craig is coming back for one more Bond. Yes, he is, which is set for release in November 2019. But who should take over the coveted role when Craig exits stage left? Well, joining me now once again is the Belle Day Fanning and Stephen Byrne from 2FM. Before we discuss, of course, lads, some of the likely Bond contenders with the guys, here are some of Daniel Craig's best bits. You both know what's at stake here. You've got your armor back on. 007, reporting for duty. Why not stay dead? You must be joking. Just look at you. Everybody needs a hobby. You're the best player in the service. Yes. Considerably. Ah, oh, you got to love Daniel Craig. Yes, he has been a great Bond, so it's going to be very difficult boots to fill. But let's go through some of the potential candidates now. Now, guys, we were talking about Idris Elba in the film The Mountain Between Us, but what do you think? Do you think he'll make a good Bond, or is he still in, in the kind of firing line to do it? I think he's been the name that's been kind of touted for the longest period of time in yeah, terms of taking over. So I think, yeah, he has to be appropriate for that reason. I think he probably is the obvious choice. And that's for good reason. I okay. Think, I think he, would... he says himself that he's mid forties and too old. I don't right. agree. I think he probably would be the best. He certainly has been in the longest of all of them. Like Tom Hiddleston. I mean, come on. Not no, really. you don't no, think so. Really. See, Idris is one of your favourites. So you kind of want to go. I with would him, definitely see it. But having said that, I wonder, like, why is there such a thing about the new Bond? I mean, it's like once <laughs> because it's but, important. But once Dave. Born one, two, and three happened. That's Bond out the window. Roger Moore destroyed the whole thing he anyway. Back, you know, he, well, oh, he made it funny, and it kind of worked then for you know the Pierce Brosnan to come in, and then for the man that's in it. The moment, but I don't care. But that's anymore. why I think it's it's probably time to reinvent it because that's yeah. what it was with this because it went a little bit more. It did the whole dark oh, night well, kind of thing of making years. it. Serious. Let me jump in. Let that's me jump in. I, what what about Aidan Turner? Let's put an Irish perspective no, on it. No, no, no. Colin Farrell. Hold mm. Eric, let me think. Colin Farrell. Yeah, Colin Farrell could, although I don't see his name mentioned very much about it, you know. I think he'd be great. I mean, if you think about like what they do, this is all a big, huge brandy thing. The Skyfall thing we were talking about a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the seventh most sort of successful movie ever at the box of. The amount of money they pushed into all that, and it was like, seriously, Home Alone for the last third of it with adults. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Stupid. OK, we've got Christopher Nolan. Um, of course, he wants to direct the new Bond, so Tom Hardy. Now, he is my favourite. Yeah, have you seen Taboo, the eighth part series? He just mumbles again. He's back from right, right. Sorry. You have to be right. sophisticated. I'm not going to win with Tom Hardy. Yeah, do you agree with me no, on Tom Hardy? I, I love Tom Hardy. I think they need to just pair it back, like you said, bring it back to when he was younger, reinvent it in a different way. And oh, okay, so go way younger then. Yeah, because we saw that with Skyfall. Like, the last 20 minutes was about Bond's early years, and it did spark a little bit of an interest to go, like, why don't we see where he came from? All right, what about Dan Stevens, the next Jane Bond? Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. done more than anything kind of I know from Pretty Cars on TV. I don't know. Yeah, Dan the Beast, I guess, yeah. recently as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 What about Tom Hiddleston? All right, Dave, no. you brought his name up, okay? So this is this is for He's you. He's a bit of a wimp, you know? I mean, like, if we get rid of the tattoo about Taylor, he might do something. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you think that kind of damaged his profile because he dated I think Taylor it probably Swift. did damage his mm -hmm. profile, actually. Yeah, he really doesn't help himself very much. And his speech when he won that award at the time at the Brits Awards or whatever yeah. you call it, that was terrible, you know? Tom Hiddleston for you? No. No. I think, like I said, go somewhere completely different. Okay, Bring who? it back to when he was like. Who 20. then? I'm going to make you choose. I think someone like Will Poulter would be kind of cool. No, completely I disagree. No, he, you have, there's a certain amount of sophistication that you need. He wouldn't why? have that. Why? Why? He's you think that will? You know? why? I think reinvent it. Just because like, he's just okay. seen Detroit and said, that's <laughs> <No. a bond." laughs> All right, Dave, you're the one. I know you're you're going with Idris Elba, aren't you? I would still go. He was the one of the first names mentioned that I'd stay with. It. Yeah, he's got a certain sophistication. Also, he's done some terrible choices with movies, mm. and this current one now makes him a romantic lead. So who knows? I think, yeah, I'd still say him. Yeah. All right, well, he's I'm going cool. with Tom Hardy, guys, if that's no, all right with okay, you. All much, right. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Love having you on. Brought to you by Virgin Media.